announcing her intention to seek the presidency, U.S. Senator from California Kamala Harris said she favored Medicare for all, which would essentially mean the complete socialization of health care. Asserting her ignorance about the Constitution and health care, Harris has tweeted in the past, Here's what I believe. Health care is a right, not a privilege. Retweet if you agree. Please pay attention to what I'm about to say. Kamala Harris is a socialist. She is also a liar. This is because socialism itself is a lie. Webster defines socialism as the governmental ownership of the means of production and distribution of goods, a system in which there is no private property. Socialist theory is antithetical to the principles on which America was founded. Under the original American view of government, private property rights are championed and protected. But in the socialist view, private property ownership is denounced and demonized. Socialism is un-American. And socialism has always destroyed any society where it has taken root. Look at Venezuela. While Harris, Sanders, Waters, Cortez, and their ilk continue to push for Americans to embrace new rights like a socialist European healthcare system, they are not the originators of this concept in America. Franklin Roosevelt, in his annual address to Congress, set the nation on this path. Here's what FDR said in that speech. A second Bill of Rights, under which a new basis of security and prosperity can be established for all. Among these are the right to a useful and remunerative job, the right to earn enough to provide adequate food and clothing and recreation, the right of every family to a decent home, the right to adequate medical care, the right to adequate protection from the economic fears of old age, sickness, accidents, and unemployment, the right to a good education. All of these rights spell security. Please note that Roosevelt's so-called second Bill of Rights is not based on the same premise as the original. God didn't grant anyone the right to a decent home, a remunerative job, an education, food, clothing, or recreation paid for at the expense of others. Likewise, God nowhere grants the right to health care. You see, in order for government to provide health care or any other of the second Bill of Rights, it must necessarily violate the original Bill of Rights by stealing the money it needs to make these phony guarantees. This directly reflects the premise and philosophy of the Communist Manifesto. Despite this scary reality, socialism is gaining popularity in America. How can this be? For one thing, public schools have been indoctrinating youth of America into the ideology of socialism for over a hundred years now. They're so successful that Kamala Harris panders directly to them. The public schools are promoting socialism. They are lying to their students. But I repeat myself. This is Jake McCauley. And Dominic McCauley. With the Institute on the Constitution, bringing you The, the American, American View. View.